Hello there, I know that these are only mock wrestles and do not matter, but they matter to me. So this is why I get upset if you have a dislike for people showing emotions. Then leave, thank you. I just wanted to say that if anyone is offended, because for some reason in this day and age, everyone just gets offended at other people's opinions. You need to calm the frick down. Okay, I'm very triggered right now. So I've just come home from getting my mom and say it plainly, they're absolute utter just rubbish. And obviously people, some people would be completely fine with just even passing their exams. So if you don't know, the way ours is graded is it's graded from one to nine. So nine being the highest and one being the lowest. And in my opinion, a four to me, four isn't a pass. And I haven't passed everything. That's in my mock. I start crying. And then I start thinking of more bad things, which makes me cry more that I'm doing it now. Really bad. Like, a chain, a chain reaction, I don't know. The majority of people at my school will probably literally laugh at me for crying. Because most of them, all they care about is getting a 9 or we call it a distinction star in their performing arts or technical arts strand. Today, because as well, it was parents' evening as well as getting our results, which made it even worse. Because it meant I had to then sit through everyone telling me what I'd done wrong. Okay, so I'm just going to open up my results. These were all the notes I made from parents' consultation day. I don't even want to read them out, it's just so bad. But once again, I don't mean to be, for anyone to feel upset about what they got. Oh, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Why am I like this? I'm going to tell you what I got and then what my teachers are expecting me to get. So I'm going to tell you what I got and then I'm going to tell you what my teachers are expecting me to get. I think that's actually what gets me the most, is the difference between these two grades. I'm going to do a whole speech at the end to like why I'm crying. And you guys think I'm crying just because I didn't pass an exam. That isn't the reason why I'm crying. So I'm going to go from lowest to highest just because then we can finish on a happy note. What you should think about is in sixth form, I want to study biology, chemistry and math. And to be able to do that, I need at least a six or a seven, preferably a seven. Oh my god, this is so stressful. My lowest. Oh my god, this actually makes me so sad. My lowest grade was from chemistry and I got a four. I'm acting like someone's just died. I'm so sorry. So my I, chemistry, I got a four and my teacher wants me to get a seven or an eight. Biology, I got a five and I want to get a seven. English literature, I got a five and I was one mark away from a six. Spanish, I got a 5. My teacher originally wanted me to get an 8. Okay, well, let's at least get a 6. I don't know. English language, I got a 6. For paper 2. Paper 1, I normally get a 7, almost an 8, but, you know. History, which I supposedly absolutely suck at, I got a 6. My teacher wants me to get an A. By the way, I didn't say my physics results, which was actually amazing, if you ask me. I got a 6. My teacher was expecting me to get a 6 at the end of GCSEs. I'm so rubbish at physics. And the fact that that was my highest science is actually one of the 8th wonders in the world. Like, I think we need to add it to the wonders of the world. Because my teacher was just like, how is this even possible? How do you get a 4 in your most strongest science and you get a 6 in the one I don't even listen in? I didn't even revise physics. Maybe that's my new revise owl. Maybe that's new my... my Maybe that's my new revision technique. Don't revise. And in maths, I got a seven. I don't even want. Like, I'm actually gonna have like I'm gonna start having a tantrum, guys. I'm gonna get on the floor and scream. I have been getting a seven since probably the end of year nine. That's two years, and I haven't moved. I mean, I don't help myself. I don't revise maths, but that's because I have so many other things to revise for. It's like, why am I revising for something that I'm already getting an eight? In? And my teacher wants me to get a 9. And then in dance I got a 9, so I'm fine. So now I'm going to go into the reason why I'm actually so upset. I'm not even upset, I'm just like... I just feel like I've let so many people down. And I know this isn't my real results as well, which like... <laughs> Why am I crying? Because I still have another two months. Well, three months. Everyone keeps saying, but it's really not three months. My friend, the best paragraph ever about people who are high achievers, basically. People who are expected to get the highest grades. I'm acting like I'm at the end of my life right now, and I'm really not. 
I'm trying not to cry and I look so ugly. <laughs> The main reason for why I'm crying is because I feel like so much pressure is put onto us just, just for these set of exams. People who are expected to get a 9 and get a 7, it's like literally so disheartening because you're two levels away, that's depending on what um, exam you're taking, but maths, that's like 15 marks. 15 freaking marks! <laughs> that's like a whole paper, but it's for the people that are expected to do well and don't, it's so sad. At the end of my meeting with my science teacher, I just wanted to say I'm so sorry. Even though they don't care, they literally don't care. They just want me to pass, they could care less. Well, obviously they do care, but I'm saying like, I'm acting as if like, my whole life is over, but then this is what I think about in my head. Last year, I got, I think I was one mark from an eight. One mark from an eight, and you're telling me I got a four. I want to do chemistry in eight level, right? If I don't get the grades, I'm not going to get into a school. If I don't get into a school, I can't get the results to go to university. If I don't go to university, I can't do a job. And then what? Yesterday or the day before, I was like, what if I don't get the results? What if I walk in there and I don't understand the test that I'm taking? What do I do? It's just a whole spiral going downwards, to be honest. <coughs> Our effort is very ranked out of nine as well. I literally got eights and nines for everything. I haven't been late to a single lesson. I've had 100% attendance since year eight. Why can I not get the freaking grade on my effort? This is another reason why I'm so angry and upset about the school system. I work so hard. I revise every night. Today I had the day off. Off! To sit at home and have a lie-in. I woke up at 6.30 in the morning just so I could revise. And I keep saying this, I know this isn't my result, but I still know that I have time to improve. But I'm the type of person that if I get knocked down, I just sit on that step and just wait for someone to pick me up. And no one's going to pick me up. I have to do it all on my own. I can't believe I'm crying this much but as well this just shows that not everyone's perfect everyone's always texting me like how are you so perfect how are you so smart I'm not I'm hardly passing and if I'm being honest I probably got a four for Spanish because my teacher marked me and my teacher feels sorry for me <laughs> Deal with how stupid I must look to everyone right now. But I just want to let everyone know that if you're failing, it's fine. See me in August when I'll be opening my results for you guys. Hey, hey. I hope next time I'll be crying with happiness and not sadness. But yeah, this video was just really a heart to heart with me and the exam boards. <laughs> I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon in my next happy video. <laughs>